and please welcome Project Diff. Hello, my name is Anna Blinderman. This is Ruka Bello, um, Stella Chisotis, Stacey Lamb, Will Huckabee, Louis Medina, and um, they couldn't join us today, but we also have in our project Miranda Jenkins and David Guzman and our project mentor, uh, Tracy McGee. So as Ross mentioned before in the presentation about our summer program, we had the opportunity to participate in different serving through STEM projects. The one that I participated in was called Mapping Movement in the City, in which we took different databases and turned them into maps. When we got the free choice to do what we wanted with our project, I chose to use different grocery stores and chains in uh, different neighborhoods throughout the city. I also did a different map of the percent of the population per community that had diabetes. And as you can see, the red and the orange are very few grocery stores, and the yellow and green are very high concentrations of diabetes. And you can see a lot of overlap in these two maps. And we wanted to do something in the community to change that. Okay, so Project IF is all about raising awareness of food deserts. A food desert is an area where it is difficult for families to obtain healthy food. Not being able to access healthy food can lead to many long-term health issues such as diabetes. And our original plan was to create an urban garden that would help increase food distributions in the communities and establish an alternative food source. But like any other group, we had a change of plans. We weren't able to maintain an urban garden in the winter. So we decided to do something that would not only benefit the communities, but we decided to do something that we can share with the world. So we decided to make videos. Our videos were on how to um, make quick, easy, inexpensive, and healthy foods. So they ranged from cooking videos to how to plant gardens. So for our videos, we have four of them, um, now five, but the four original plan, the original plan was to have four recipe videos um, that concentrated on these four aspects. Um, easy recipes, affordable, uh, uh, recipes with affordable and accessible ingredients, which is, which leads back to food deserts, and we wanted them to taste good because we wanted them to be appealing even though they were healthier options and we wanted to improve people's diets in this way. So we have been very successful in several things. We have created a Facebook group on and we have 400 Chicagoans and this reaches people all throughout Chicago so that is how we know they impact food deserts. And also we have a YouTube channel, which contains the four videos that Stella was talking about. Um, from this, we've learned how to work in a group. And we also learned that having uh, self-motivation is key to accomplishing a goal, especially when people are working together and collaborating ideas. So our message um, to you and to everyone in Chicago and the world is that everyone should be able to eat healthily, no matter where you live or how much money you have. And our lesson, the lessons that we learned through this project was about learning about group projects. Um, we learned about leadership because we all learned that it, you need to have motivation and you need to be able to motivate your group members in order to get a project accomplished. We learned about teamwork, which is more than like six, like six-year-old let's work together teamwork, but teamwork in a group of people from all over the city and keeping them motivated. And we learned about changing our goal from a bigger, broader uh, vision of an urban garden to um, one that would have more impact and was more realistic, which was having um, recipe videos. And the most meaningful thing we learned through this project was seeing and volunteering urban gardens, which we did through the fall. and. It helped us learn about other people's efforts to end food deserts and how they're raising awareness in their communities. And our future plans is to put out the videos. The first one is up today, and we're really proud of that. So this is our group. Thank you. <laughs>